washing machine installation is one of them DIY jobs that we'll probably all have to do from time to time throughout our lives. And most people aren't sure just how easy it actually is. And they end up paying high street retailers like the people that supplied this machine about 30 quid to come in and install the washing machine. And today I'll show you just how easy it is. Anyone that watches this video will be able to get a washing machine installed in your home quickly and easily by the time you've finished watching this video. There's no complicated tools with this one, you just need an adjustable spanner, any old adjustable spanner will do, and a simple screwdriver. Right, let's get straight into it. Before we unpack the machine and get all the wrapping off it, place the machine somewhere near where you're going to be installing it. Now we've got the machine roughly where we want it, we'll take the packaging off the machine. So the machine is all unwrapped. Now if we go ahead and look inside the drum, you'll find a couple of bits and bobs in here. You will find your cold water pipe. That is for clean cold water coming in to the washing machine. And there's also some instructions and some blanking caps for the transportation bolt holes. And also inside the packaging, you'll probably find a very obvious piece of paper telling you to remove the transportation bolts. But we'll take a look at that in a second, so chuck that to the side as well. Now if we take a look at the back of the machine, we'll talk a little bit about the transportation bolts and some of the other bits and bobs, and I'll tell you what each of these items do, and then we'll go ahead and install the machine. Before we do that, if you like DIY videos and you've not subscribed already, make sure you do, because I've got loads more coming up and you don't want to miss it. And make sure you like the video as well, because that really helps the video to reach and help more people just like you on YouTube. Right, let's have a little chat about what's on the back of the machine here. Well, the first thing you're gonna see is a power lead with a plug on the end. That will just go into a plug socket somewhere behind your machine. So we'll untie it and just leave it to the side for now. The next thing that you're gonna see is a flexible hose just like this one. The flexible hose is for the dirty water that exits the machine and that will go into a waste pipe so that that water can drain away into your drain. If we take a look up here, you're gonna see the cold water supply and that is where we'll attach our cold water in. On modern washing machines, you will almost always just have a cold water supply. There's a heater inside the machine that heats up the cold water that comes in to the temperature required. Now the last thing we need to pay attention to on the back of the machine before we install it is the transportation bolts. Usually you'll see four of them. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And what these do is they fix the drum, the bit that goes around inside the machine, to the frame so that when the machine's on its way to you, it doesn't get damaged. Now removing these allows that drum to move around inside the machine. Grab your adjustable spanner and we'll go ahead and remove those now. Make sure that you remove the rubber bung as well and the whole insert and insert the supplied blanking cap. Now just repeat that process for the rest of the bolts. So, with your machine, you received a hose like this one. That hose is for cold, clean water for your machine. You'll notice it has a straight connector on there and a 90 degree connector on the other end. The end we want to use for our machine is the 90 degree connector. And you'll notice inside that connector, there is a rubber O-ring. That is what forms a seal. So make sure that A, it hasn't fallen out, and B, that it's clean and undamaged. And now all we need to do is fit that hand tight onto the machine. You don't need to use any tools or over tighten it in any way. So that's the connection made to the machine. The other end, the straight connector, can now be connected to your cold water supply. Your washing machine valve should look something like this and it'll have a little blue lever on it. When we turn that lever, that will turn the water on. So leave that off for now 
and connect the hose onto the end of the valve. Again, it just needs to be done up hand tight and the rubber o-ring inside will make a good seal. Once your hose is tightened up, turn on the blue lever valve and check for leaks. You can hear the water's on now and we can just use our fingers to check around the connections to see if there's any leaks. You always want to check for leaks before you put the machine back in its final position because it's a lot easier to do it now than keep pulling the machine in and out. So now we'll take a look at the flexible waste pipe and there's two scenarios that you may come across when you're connecting this bit. The first scenario you may come across is one of these washing machines slash dishwasher nozzles on your waste pipe. They are the most up-to-date and modern plumbing method that you're more likely to see in a modern home. The second method is a simple upright piece of pipe and all you would need to do is drop the waste pipe down into the top of the waste so that it can drain away. If you've got the nozzle type drain then it'll look something similar to this. If you've got a nozzle connector like this one, place a Jubilee clip over the end of the waste pipe, support the bottom of the nozzle and push the waste pipe down over the nozzle. Now use a screwdriver to do up the Jubilee clip. Once you've done that, just put your plug in and switch it on. So the cold water supply, waste water supply and power to the machine are all in. Now we can move the machine in its final position. You'll usually find that your machine has adjustable rubber feet on each corner. What we now need to do is make sure that each foot is in good contact with the floor and that the machine is level. If it's not level, it'll walk around, it'll rock, it'll be very noisy and it'll cause vibration. So take hold of a spirit level and an adjustable spanner and adjust the feet until the machine is level. I like to use the wind bag for this. You can place it under the machine and jack the machine up you can then access the feet a lot easier. Once the machine is level and the feet are in good contact with the ground, you can use the lock nut to lock the feet in place. You don't have to use one of these, but if you do want to grab one, I'll put a link below in the description. Once you're happy with the final position and you're satisfied that the machine is level, what I'd do now is go ahead and put it on a quick spin. That way you'll be able to test for any leaks and check that the machine doesn't rock and vibrate. If it does, you'll be able to go back, fix the leaks and re-level the machine. I don't use these things day to day, so um, let's see if we can work it out. So that is one successfully installed washing machine. I hope the video has been helpful for you. If it has, check out one of these because they're probably going to help you as well. I'll see you guys in the next one.